the presentation is called The Power of Creative Video Marketing. And the way I'm going to share that information is by showing some examples from clients that I've worked with in the past couple of years. The Connecticut SBDC, a very cool iPhone app called Defend Call, a small business owner, Duresta Communications, and a public service campaign against bullying. Now, one of the terms I'm going to be using a lot this evening is explainer videos. This is kind of an interesting screenshot taken from Google search trends. And if you plug in the words explainer video under trends for search in Google, you'll see that on the bottom there's a timeline starting from about 2005 to present. And it pretty much flatlines until about mid-2012. So prior to 2012, the term explainer video wasn't even on anyone's radar. But once it was, you can see what it did. Now, if you're not familiar with what explainer videos are, they're, they're primarily animated videos for the most part. There's different styles of video animation. We're going to get into some of that today. But this is an article that appeared pretty recently in Inc. Magazine that talks about uh, how B2B businesses in particular are using a lot of videos. And I think one reason for this is that these explainer videos are being used a lot by B2B companies because those kind of companies in particular need to do uh, a, a good job of explaining what it is that they do. Often their products and services aren't that familiar uh, to the public, so this is why these explainer type videos have become very popular. So I'm going to start out with an explainer video that we created a couple years ago uh, that just share some, some research statistics about how video is affecting the current marketing landscape. So a couple of weeks ago, I was surfing the web and came across a video competition that Microsoft is sponsoring. And the, the challenge was for business owners to come up with a short video telling their business story. It had to be under two minutes. It had to tell their business story. And it also had to do it in a way that inspired other entrepreneurs. So one of the types of videos that um, a lot of entrepreneurs are, are thinking about are videos that tell their story, storytelling videos. Uh, maybe you've heard the phrase, uh, you got to get people to know, like, and trust you. So this type of storytelling video, if you're a small business owner, can be a very uh, worthwhile kind of video. When you think of a storytelling video, what usually comes to mind most people is, well, I get in front of a camera, right, and I, I tell my story. This is a key frame from a video that I created for Alex about a year ago. But um, not everyone is that comfortable talking in front of a camera. I, I'm not. So uh, instead of using this format, I decided to use this more explainer video kind of animated format. And here's what I came up with.
did I tell you there was a $20,000 grand prize? So if, if I win, I'll, I'll let you know. Um, so I wanted to show that for a couple of reasons. One is because I think it's important if you're a business owner uh, to be able to share your story and get, allow people to, to get to know you a little bit on a personal level. Um, and also to point out the fact that even though this business model of Big Idea Video started a couple years ago, the genesis was really back 25 years ago, 30 years ago when I started my advertising career because long before I was creating Big Idea digital videos, I was creating Big Idea ad campaigns and TV commercials. And the other thing I want to point out is that the reason I came up with the name Big Idea Video is because I think there's a lot of companies out there producing videos, but not a lot of companies that really understand the concept of a big idea. And my feeling is that if you can do a short video with a big idea to intrigue people and get them to want to know more and touch them on an emotional level, that can be very, very effective. The ultimate goal of any marketing video, after all, is to get results. So. I want to show you one example of a video that I did back in my advertising days. It was done about 26 years ago. Take a look. For years, Smuckers has been telling us that they have to be good. But in fact, their preserves are mostly corn syrup, refined sugar, and just some fruit. Fortunately, there is something better. Sorrel Ridge, we have 100% fruit, fruit juice, and nothing else. Sorrel Ridge, with 100% fruit, it has to be better. So we weren't sure if we were going to get our asses sued for, for doing that. But uh, fortunately, the lawyers uh, for Sorrel Ridge said, well, let's give it a shot. And surprisingly, uh, we didn't get sued, I think primarily because everything we said was the truth. So as I said, the whole point of any kind of a marketing uh, message or video is to get results, right? So here are some of the results that that video, that commercial got. First month, sales were up 90%, and we're talking national. And for the year, 50%. And it got a nice write-up in Forbes magazine. It also became a featured study uh, with the Harvard Business Review, and it was the campaign that allowed my partner and I to start our advertising agency. So it worked out pretty well. So that gives you a little idea of where my big idea roots come from. Now, when most business owners think of video, they, a lot of business owners realize that they need to do some kind of a video, right? So what they normally do when they think of video is, okay, well, I need to hook up with a video production company. And what they end up with is something like this, where the video production company goes, OK, we're gonna, you're ready to be on camera, and you've got to write a script. And sometimes uh, the scripts are two minutes, sometimes three minutes long. And then they say, well, do you have a PowerPoint presentation? Because you know we could, we could stick some of that stuff up there, and we could put your logo there. And then, of course, you need a call to action, so we'll slap that on there. And this ends up being their idea of a video. Now, with very few exceptions, unless you're an Alex Virvo, um, you cannot get away with a two or three minute video like this. And what these business owners don't, I'm not sure they understand or maybe they're just not aware of the options, but they don't realize that as much as it's important to inform your audience, in today's marketplace, you've got to do a lot more than just inform. You've got to engage them. And the way to do that is entertain them. People have a very, very short attention span. And the fact is, even if you don't have ADD, you've got to engage people. You can't have a video like I just showed before and expect the people are going to sit through it for two or three minutes. And the way to, to engage people and ultimately uh, what you hope to do is excite them, touch them on an emotional level, and ultimately persuade them to take some kind of an action. Some of the popular ways of, of doing this, as I mentioned earlier, are these explainer videos, uh, whiteboard animation videos. Have you seen those? Whiteboard are those uh, videos that show the hands writing on the whiteboard. And I'm going to show you some examples of that uh, in a few minutes. Uh, motion graphics, which is, as it implies, just graphics that kind of move around. 
uh, storytelling, as I mentioned earlier, and high concept or big idea videos, as, as I prefer to call them. The Connecticut SBDC hired us over the summer to help solve their problem. How many people are familiar with the Connecticut SBDC? Raise your hand. Okay. Well, that's part of the problem. I saw about six hands being raised, and that's part of the problem. They felt that they needed to do a better job of getting the word out for what they do. And ultimately what they do is support small business in the state. They have experienced advisors and trainers who, who do that. So we ended up doing a series of videos, uh, including a whiteboard, a motion graphics, and a big idea campaign. Now a lot of times people come to me and say, well, how do you come up with these ideas? Well, ideas can come from any different thing. In the case of the first couple videos I'm going to show you, which I call uh, high concept or big ideas, came out of the fact that I was exploring some music, some what kind of uh, soundtrack I might use for these videos. And I came across one particular soundtrack that I really liked because it was very heroic. And the more I thought about it, I thought, well, Gee, I think there's a connection between this heroic theme and the fact that these business owners are in their own way heroes because they're really putting themselves on the line to start their business, right? So there's a heroic aspect to that. So the concept came out of hearing this heroic theme and then we went out and actually photographed a number of Connecticut business owners who were willing to be involved in the commercial and here's what we came up with. There's a reason Connecticut small businesses are succeeding. Hard work, dedication, and the Small Business Development Center. We offer expert advice to small businesses. And the best part, it's free. So visit our website today and sign up. Because whatever your business, we'll help it grow. And here's the second one in that campaign. Whatever business help you need, the Small Business Development Center has experts that can help for free. So visit our website today and sign up because whatever your business will help it grow. So I think they kind of like that concept because they took the tagline, whatever your business, we can help it grow, and put it on 75 buses driving around the state. Here's a, an example of a motion graphics video, again, communicating what the Small Business Development Center does. And earlier I referenced whiteboard videos, so here's what we did for a whiteboard video. Starting a business takes an idea. To make it successful takes a lot more. It takes planning, funding, marketing, good connections, just to name a few. That's where we come in, the Small Business Development Center. Our expert advisors will help you with whatever you need to make your business successful. And the best part? It's free. So, visit our website and sign up today, because your success is our business. So that was a recent campaign we did for SBDC. We finished it up in the fall. One of the first campaigns I did under the Big Idea umbrella is for an iPhone app called the Fen Call. And I came up with a series of very, very short, some of them only 20 seconds long, um, all of them, I think they're all under a minute. I think most of them are about 20 or 30 seconds. But the goal of these videos was to just touch someone on an emotional level and relate to what the benefit of having an app like this on your iPhone is.
the NRA said today, no. attacking mm -mm. our guns will only hurt law-abiding gun owners. I like, want to focus on something you just said, Pierce. I want to focus on that. He was, I, a, he was on Dana. medication do I and he was seeing a psychiatrist. Dana, I don't he, no, that. let me answer this. I want to bring though, this up. This is an important point, Pierce, and it needs to be made. No, here's the thing. This is where the people who are supposed to enforce the law fail. So these are videos that I would describe as under the big idea umbrella. Another campaign for a very small business owner, directs to communications. She's basically someone who coaches and trains very, very senior executives who are giving presentations and are often on the spot and have to uh, speak extemporaneously and really need to have great, great communication skills. So sometimes the best way to touch people is through a serious message like we just had before, and sometimes it's through humor. Okay. Recent polls have shown a fifth of Americans can't locate the U.S. on a world map. Why do you think this is? I personally believe that U.S. Americans are unable to do so because uh, some people out there in our nation don't have maps and uh, I believe that our ed education, like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq, everywhere like such as, and I believe that they should, uh, our education over here in the U.S. should help the U.S. Uh, or should help South Africa and should help the Iraq and the Asian countries. So we will be able to build up our future for our children. Thank you very much, South Carolina. <laughs> so I think you get the idea. So the last campaign I want to show you is something that I actually initiated a little over a year ago. And it really came out of my personal feelings about the issue around bullying. I happen to feel that it's a, a very important issue to deal with. About a year ago, I was invited to be a guest on Ann Nyberg's Channel 8 show to talk about it. And also to show that we actually do shoot some videos that involve using a video camera. So these are a couple of videos that I actually shot. Uh, with some local kids in the area. I actually wrote these scripts and found some kids that I think did a fantastic job of doing their parts and reading the script. Take a look. If you see, if you see, if you see a bully picking on someone, or some girls, any girls, being mean to another, 
It's not easy to say something. It's not easy to do something. It's not easy to tell someone. But that doesn't mean. It doesn't mean. That doesn't mean you shouldn't. When you see a bully picking on someone, it might be easy to think it's no big deal. It might be easy to say, whatever. It might even be easy to go along or laugh. Well, bullying is not okay. It messes kids up. Bad. So just because doing nothing might be easy, it doesn't mean it's the thing to do. I created a Facebook page so they could go get more information, they could share the video with their friends, and really that's where the social media would really kick in and, and make this uh, effective. Weren't those kids great? Yeah. They, were, they were terrific. And sometime a, what makes a great video great is the voiceover. Here's, here's another one we did. Our most valuable natural resource isn't oil or coal. It's not natural gas or precious metal. It's our kids. And every day, more and more of them are being diminished. They are being harassed and bullied, some to the point of suicide. It's got to stop. What can you do? If you're a parent or teacher, speak up and make sure your kid's school is doing enough. If you're a kid and see something bad, do something. And whoever you are, share this video. It's a small step, but it just might make a big difference. So I want everyone to write down the Bully Video Project, and when they go home tonight, go to that on Facebook and uh, like it and share it with all your friends, okay? So that is the power of creative video marketing.